very warm welcome you amazing resource out there welcome to a new video um i'm talking about uh photorealistic graphic in aceto cosa evo and i look at that crisp details and the powerful colors if you want to have that like i have watch the video till the end and uh, you will know what you have to do You need three things for this to work. You need reshade. You can download it here. You need from uh, Pascal Glicher the shaders, the Emus Pro shaders. Um, costs five dollars per month. You just need it one time. So you pay it one time five dollars and you have the shader. And the third one, what you need is my preset for reshade. The ACE Photorealistic Pro settings file. If you have these uh, three things downloaded, you first Double click on reshade setup, search for Aceto Corsa Evo, normally should be in the top in the list. Click on next and next and uh, here you always click next. You just install the standard shaders and everything and everything next, it's finished. Then you need to uh, copy the stuff from uh, Martimods, just double click, copy. Then you go to your Aceto Corsa Evo folder, uh, normally it's in Steam Apps uh, Common and Aceto Corsa Evo. Then you click here double, put it here inside. When you ask for override something, you click yes, override. And uh, the config file, uh, you copy that to the normal Aceto Corsa Evo folder. When you have done that, you should be able to use it in Aceto Corsa Evo. As you can see, Reshade 6.3.3. For open reshade, you click on position one, then you go here and select ACE Photorealistic Pro and everything should be loaded like I have here. And when you click on the command, the numeric, numerical uh, numbers, you can activate and deactivate the shader for compare. I will show you now the settings what I'm using in game. Uh, I'm on a 14400p uh, and uh, my frames uh, are about, I don't know, about between 90 and 120 normally. These are my settings. I turned off here, experimental static level of detail. Um, I cannot see really a difference uh, between on and off and it costs about, I don't know, 10 to 15 frames per second. So I let it off. So that's it. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and it's working for you. Uh, as I said, you need really a high-end uh, CPU and, and graphic cards for use this in these settings. And especially if you are in 4K, it will still cost more, more power and the difference will go down. But for me, it's okay. I'm on 14400p and uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy with the graphics and it looks so, so amazing. And I don't want to miss it anymore. 
I hope you enjoy it, guys. I would, I would be happy if you like and subscribe to my channel and uh, watch uh, sometimes to my streams. Okay, then have a good uh, day and uh, see you on track.